Welcome back, everyone, to our two-minute drill. I'm your host, Gianna Forbes, here with Pack Pride editor Corey Smith. Corey, I'm smiling ear to ear today because we had a great weekend of some Wolfpack basketball, specifically with men's, though, beating Clemson on the road. How important was this win for the Wolfpack? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge one. You know, all season long, we've talked about NC State can't win the ones that they need to win. They've gotten to the point of eight and six in ACC play, and they've gotten some good wins overall, but nothing great, nothing resume building. This is a quad one game. It's going to hold as a quad one game all season long. You have a chance to keep building that down the stretch. So that's the big thing for NC State right now is not to just get, you know, high and mighty and say, all right, we've we've got eight and six record. We've got some good wins now at this point. No, you need better wins. You need to keep going. Uh, and I think the biggest thing that they can take away from that is making winning plays down the stretch. It's something that they've struggled with throughout the season. So now at this point, again, like I said, it's a great win, but it means absolutely nothing if you don't keep winning in the ACC. And speaking of keeping up the win, they play Syracuse tomorrow night. What can they do right in this situation to keep winning this game? Yeah, I mean, it's going to rely on DJ Horn obviously getting hot, and you want a guy like Michael O'Connell to run the offense a little better. Something that he's done at home, he's averaging four assists at home compared to less than two assists on the road average. Uh, so that's a big thing that you're going to be looking for. But the thing I'm looking for is the bigs producing. That's something they did not do the last time out. Uh, DJ Burns had 10 points, but he was – uh, 5 of 14 shooting overall for NC State. The Bigs last game against Syracuse uh, went 7 of 21 with DJ Burns, Ben Middlebrooks, and Mo DR in that one. They produced a lot higher at a lot higher rate over the last few games, particularly against Clemson. So I'm looking for those guys to get going down low and then lead to the guards to be able to kind of put this game away for NC State. It's one they lost on the road pretty handily. So they need to be able to win this one at home. It's not going to be a great win, but it's going to be a rough loss if you don't win this game overall.